And welcome back to Poland Seminary High School, where we are all set for the third quarter. A good one brewing between South Range and Boardman. At the moment, Spartans with a 27-18 advantage. Of course, an update from Stambaugh Stadium. They've gone to the third quarter. It is Wofford with a three-point lead, 16-13. There's about six minutes to play. In quarter number three, it's been a very, very back-and-forth game at Stambaugh Stadium. Much different than some of those blowouts that the Penguins had earlier in postseason play. But, of course, you can expect that when you get a little later in postseason play. A trip to the national semifinals on the line. Lauren Pavlansky puts the triple try up, and the ball will roll out of bounds. And will go where? It'll stay right here. 18 seconds in. That was one of those calls where both officials, I don't know if we're on the same page, went off the foot on, one of, I believe, a Boardman player. So they were able to take advantage of that. But somehow it all evens out, Chad. She stepped on that near sideline, did Vivo, just to our right. So South Range basketball, it is Taylor Naples. Bounce pass underneath. Well, the shot is blocked. Kate Yeagley tried to fight it up. It's out of bounds. It'll stay here. As you get a look at Jeff Hammerton. Madison Durkin swings it over to the near side. Naples. This is Maynard. Maynard fights it up. It won't go. Durkin cleans it up. That one won't go, but... She's going to go to the free throw line and shoot two. Now, I was just thinking to myself, Chad, boy, South Range has really got to figure out a way to score some points, get the ball in the hole, and that's a great way to do that with Dirk and get yourself some offensive rebounds, some putbacks, get some confidence, let some people focus on you, and that way it might open up the outside and give your shooters a little bit more time to, to get a shot off. First foul here of the third quarter. Three fouls on Vivo for Boardman. One on Gabriel. Ball is out of bounds. And it'll go back to Boardman. 7.20 left in this third quarter. So Vivo will bring it across the time stripe into the fourth quarter at the top of the key. Vivo, clear path, puts it up, misses. And we have a jump ball called. Quite a bit of a Height advantage there for, and a reach advantage for Durkin and the possession arrow. We'll keep it here with the Boardman. Ball is into Vivo. Vivo takes it baseline. Feeds it to the near side off the fingertips of Green. And out of bounds, it'll go back to South Range, trailing at 27-19. Jenna Vivo, I just, she's on the deck, flying after loose ball. She is scrappy. Man. If memory serves me correctly, Vivo, is the granddaughter of Ron Michello, former Boardman head coach, I, I at least a relative. Uh, growing up, she probably had it doing line drills, wind sprints, and <laughs> all from, those types of things. From birth, right? Vivo. Yeah, exactly. The line. Lane puts it up off the bottom of the backboard. No good. And the rebound comes down to South Range. Skip pass. Modic. Maynard from the baseline puts it up. It's short. And the rebound comes down to the Spartans. Up the floor, it's Vivo. So again, another opportunity here. You know, both teams, you know, pretty cold from the offensive standpoint. You know, it's only going to take a couple buckets to maybe turn this momentum. You know, you know, both teams not able to find a lot of range right now. And you can see South Range just has to take a couple opportunities here, get a couple good looks and get a finish. And that's going to start from your leader right there. Again, another great aggressive take. Get yourself to the free throw line. Once again, they list Durkin, who drew the foul on Gabriel. That's her second and the second Boardman team foul. But this is a player that's listed as a forward, but boy, she can handle the ball very, very well. Yeah, definitely very dynamic. You know, not only does she have the size, you know, but the athletic ability and the footwork and ball handling skills to, to help you out. And that's a big asset to have, and that's going to put her one for four from the free throw line. But getting back to what you said, you know, just the athleticism to be able to handle the ball, to look over the floor, to make good decisions for you, that's what you need in, in, in one of your players. And those are the ingredients of playing at the next level as well. When you have that size, 
the ability to shoot and the ability to handle the ball as well. Absolutely. That size will definitely get you a look from the next level. You know, and then it's the intangibles and what you can work on and get better at. Another rebound for Madison Durkin. She'll take it herself to the line, to the lane. Puts it up off the side of the backboard. Green with a tie-up of Yeagley. And the possession arrow is going to keep it right here. 5.36 left to play. Durkin with 10 rebounds to this point. And I say to this point, and counting. She has six points, and 10 boards. There's a takeaway by Green, who's been very strong on the defensive side, distributing it to Pavlansky, who puts it up and in. And that's one thing that the Raiders haven't given up in this half, but you could see a little bit of those turnovers, uh, uh, able to get Boardman going and get them into a little bit more active pace. Durkin. Hands it back to Naples, and there's a foul on Green. And Green picks up her first. Green has been very good. She has eight points. Vivo also has eight. Green also with four steals on her resume in this one. Through two quarters and just under three minutes of play. Two boys games will follow this one. Got a good one brewing here, though. Durkin at the top of the key. Swing it over into the corner. Near side. Feed goes to Yeagley. Back outside, Gaeta. Top of the key, Patron. Patron loses the handle, tracks it down, whips it over to Durkin. Thought about the three, now takes it to the baseline. Rainbow shot up, no good. Durkin working hard for that rebound. That's her 11th board. Gaeta, back to Durkin. Gaeta, we mentioned, an outstanding softball player. Such a big part of that South Range softball team that made the state finals. Durkin with an air ball. Vivo with a rebound. Vivo is swarmed upon. Works it back to Pavlansky. Here's Vivo. They lob it. Back up top. Pavlansky for three. Off the rim, no good. Cleaned up. It won't go. Loose ball on the floor. It is picked up by Patron. Patron to the line, Patron to the lane, and there is a blocking foul called against Pavlansky. That'll be the fourth team foul, and the first foul on Pavlansky. What do you think? I was looking, trying to see what happened in the backcourt here. We've got a couple people down, you know, and that's just both players kind of being out of control right there. Um, trying to figure out what happened in both situations and this is the type of game that it's been very physical yeah it has uh, and, and one thing you've got to make sure is, that is when you have a type of game like this that it's physical you've got to be on balance you've you've got to get yourself and take care of yourself get yourself under control uh, because there's a lot of people flying around out of control and we're going to see the replay right here um, you can see the put back in the miss and again both players going hard after it and a little extracurricular activity that might have happened right there. Um, but as we play forward, Boardman's going to shoot some free throws? No. Raiders are going to take the ball out of bounds. South Range basketball. Naples to trigger. It's into Patron. They work it over to Durkin, firing three ball. That went off the rim, no good. Offensive rebound by Patron, nearly stepped out of bounds. They feed it back up to Gaeta. Now Durkin, skip pass Patron. Patron, one dribble. Underneath to Yeagley. Gaeta into the corner. They feed it back to Yeagley. Yeagley, Durkin, up off the rim, no good. Rebound, Vivo for Boardman. Vivo defended by Yeagley. Takes the ball back. Here's Green. Green is fouled by Felicia Gaeta. And you can see 
defensively, both teams, you know, Raiders trying to play some aggressive man-to-man. -man. You know, the big thing with the Raiders, they've got to look on the offensive to, get, to go inside and out, you know, because right now the guards aren't able to get any of their outside shots off without being a hurried shot. So go inside out, let the defense suck in a little bit, and then pitch it back out. But you can see Borbich yeah, struggling to get in. They're going to call the timeout. So 328 left to play here in the third quarter. It's been a very hotly con contested game, that is. 29-20 is our score. Spartans with a nine-point advantage. A reminder, coming up, we've got two boys' games. Coming up after this one, but in the meantime, can let you know that South Range will face off with Gerard. Coming up in game three, followed by Poland and Boardman in the final game of the night here at Poland, the host school. But in the meantime, we can tell you that our United Way Holiday Basketball Classic is brought to you by Coca-Cola, Coach's Burgers, AFL-CIO Community Services, and Poland High School Superintendent Dave Janifay and Athletic Director Brian Banfield. Spartans have the ball. Gabriel takes the feed, fights it up, can't get it to go, but she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. You know, it's... it's how lopsided this game feels. You know, South Range is only down nine. You know, three quick possessions. Now make it ten. You know, just South Range unable to, to get anything going on the offensive end. Uh, but it just takes a couple turnovers, a couple easy buckets in transition. You know, can you get a quick steal to, to get a little bit momentum your way? But Borman definitely controlling the tempo uh, and the pace of this game. Coach Pavelanski right there from Canfield yep. in the stands. The best coaches in the area. Yep, checking out uh, some action here. Wonder why, huh? <laughs> Number 14 <laughs> for Boardman. Spartans with the ball. Green has it over to Pavlansky. This is Vivo, far side. We're closing in on three minutes left in the third. Green walked with the ball. It'll go back to South Range. 31 20 is our score. South Range coming in, one and two. Boardman checking into this one at the 500 mark. At one and one at this early stage of the campaign. Modic works it over to Cooper. This is Durkin inside the three-point line. Patron, ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay here with the Raiders. And you can see right now the Raiders, you know, you have to be able to look to the high post area or, or something on the interior because passing around the ball around the perimeter just around the shell is really playing into Boardman's hands. Uh, and the defense doesn't have to do anything but just react and get steals. Levo picks off the pass. Levo has it out to Green. Levo facing up on Yegley. Levo, timeout called by the Spartans as... They were in that sort of no man's land. They got themselves in a situation where, you know, you don't want to waste the possession. But 11 points right now, you know, you, you've kind of got it rolling a little bit. You know, you're, you're trying to increase the lead. You, know, you want to get some good quality possessions. Coach Hamilton recognizes that and gets the timeout. And with South Range, you know, you're applying the pressure defensively. You know, you're just struggling at the other end right now. Update from Stambaugh Stadium. Penguins have taken a four-point lead, 20-16. to 16. They have gone to the fourth quarter, so both YSU and Wofford fighting for their playoff lives. And it has been very much a back-and-forth ball game, and we'll keep you updated and have a final when that one is all said and done. You know, when you look at that, we talk about the high school teams. You know, Borman, Canfield, Poland, and those guys are doing well. When you see YSU doing well, it's great for the community as well. Boardman basketball, Pavlansky fights it up, around off the rim, no good. Rebound down to the Raiders. Bounce pass over to Modic, just inside that three-point line, up no good. Rebound tipped around, picked up by Pavlansky. You know, the Raiders just really struggling to fi find the bottom of the net right now. But give them a lot of credit at this end. You know, really tenacious defensively and, and not giving an inch down at this end. Inside of two minutes left, third quarter. Pavlansky dribble drive. 
Into the corner. Back out to Pavlansky. Now the Spartans are going to run some clock. They're going to try to find the, the mismatch anytime that they can get penetration and get to the interior and cause some mismatches. But they're very content right now, up 11. You, know, you can see a nice job of, of handling the ball, making good decisions. Cordova over to Vivo. There's a takeaway by South Range. And that is Madison Dirk, and as the ball is ripped. You know, and the other thing about these games that you realize, when they're so uh, aggressive and, and getting after each other, you look at the other coaches, and it doesn't matter what's called. The other one just doesn't like about one call or the other. And we've got... I didn't see what happened. Uh, technical has got to be. Yeah, it's a technical foul. I didn't see what exactly happened. Uh, I think uh, Coach Matisse kind of uh, didn't enjoy the call. I think that's safe to assume. Pavlansky puts it up and in. It's 32-20. And now 33-20 with 119 left. Nine points now for Pavlansky. Coach Matisse not happy. There's that head shake again. So the officials are checking with the scorer's table. And they need to make sure that the possession arrow was flipped. And that was correctly done. So Green, the ball is knocked out of bounds by Yigley. It'll stay here. Both teams aren't given an inch. No, you're right. Errant pass. Tracked down by Vivo. So we're approaching the final minute of this third quarter, Vivo. And her Spartans with a 13-point lead. Penetrates and takes it over to the left side. Vivo. Bouncing it over. Into the hands of Pavlansky. Into the paint, Pavlansky now feeds it over to Saxton. Saxton gives to Vivo. Vivo fights it up off the rim, no good. Vivo cleans it up and draws the foul. And there's that tenaciousness that we talked about. Got a little body on the first attempt, didn't get the call. But again, when you don't complain, you just stick with it. Get the offensive rebound, now you get the opportunity to shoot some free throws. If they called that one on Yeagley. Free throw is up, and good. 34-20, 14-point lead for Boardman. Vivo one for three from the stripe. Yeagley going to head to the South Range Raider bench. So Vivo trying to get into double figures, and she does. 10 points for Vivo, and it's up to a 15-point lead for Boardman. Just 10 points and six boards, does Vivo. We're playing things out in the third quarter. There's some token pressure by the Spartans. Modic saves it in, but the officials will roll it out of bounds. I was going to see how long your arm was there, if you were going to be able to get that one. I'll leave that to the uh, athletes on the floor. <laughs> Thirty-seven point six ticks left in the third quarter. We started the half. Boardman had a nine-point lead, and they've been able to extend that to fifteen. Uh, again, a little bit due to their pressure, and, and South Range not able to to find their range offensively. Again, both teams playing extremely hard right now. It appears the Spartans are going to hold for the final shot of this third quarter. There's a takeaway. Yegley is fouled by Vivo, and I believe that's going to be four on Vivo, yep. So she's going to have to come out for at least the final 24 seconds of this third quarter. You know, and that's one of those situations where your assistant coaches, you know, you've got to know who's in foul trouble. You know, that's one of those that you can't have a, a player make. You know, Coach Hamilton not real happy right now. Pavlansky with a steal for Boardman. 
Now Vlansky whips it underneath Green, who puts it up and in. Great unselfishness, court awareness, Pat Vlansky to Green for the easy two. 37-20 in favor of Boardman, final seconds. This is Patron trying to put it up, shot blocked, and the third quarter is in the books. Eight minutes left to play here in game two here at Poland. We head to the fourth quarter with your score. Boardman 37, South Range 20. You're watching live coverage of the United Way Holiday Basketball Classic. Final college exams coming up. Get your rest. We'll show you how to cope in your dorm room. And coping with the snow, we may have a bushel full of it Monday morning. You'll want to watch Daybreak to see if your schools are opening on time. Hey, police! On the street, in the courtroom, at the helm. They are NYPD's finest family. You serve proudly. Blue Bloods. Saturday at 11 on MyYTV. At Ashley Home Store, hurry into our holiday savings event. Buy more, save more, up to 30% store-wide, or get six years no interest on sofas, sleigh beds, and dining sets. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Going on now at Ashley Home Store in Boardman, next to Marshall's. Sure you're fine with getting rid of the trophy case? Yep. And the carpet? Mm-hmm. And that? Yes. Cover it up quickly with Dutch Boy Platinum Paint Plus Primer. With Platinum's no prep, no prime formula, with advanced extreme high technology, Menards and Dutch Boy make transforming your world easy. Good color, honey. Go Dutch. The fact that the Newcastle School of Trades stresses the importance of soft skills is very important. The ability to communicate with our customers creates trust and credibility, which is paramount in this industry. I feel the partnership with Newcastle School of Trades and Johnny Case Power Sports will help us strengthen our position by providing us with qualified technicians and service writers to help us meet our customer demands. Newcastle School of Trades, where, where employers and graduates, graduates come, come together. together. Visit us at ncstrades.edu or call now. At Ashley Home Store, hurry into our holiday savings mattress event. Hurry in for your free scratch off or a chance to win a free Tempur-Pedic mattress set. Get six years no interest on this Ashley Sleep mattress or this mattress from Tempur-Pedic. Going on now at Ashley Home Store in Boardman next to Marshalls. This is home. Eight minutes to play here at Poland in game two of the United Way Holiday Basketball Classic. Boardman with a 37-20 lead. Over the South Range Raiders, girls basketball action. Two more games to follow this one. Gabriel for three for Boardman. It's up no good, off the miss. Durkin comes down with the rebound. South Range at the other end. Naples fights it up and in. And anytime that you're having trouble scoring, you get out in transition and you get some of those easy points. Offensive putbacks, layups in transition, free throws. You know, and, and right now, South Range hanging around just enough We've been talking about this all game where they just need a few possessions. Look at Pavlansky slicing her way through. 13th rebound for Durkin. Drawing contact, and it is a blocking foul called against Green. That's one of those situations right there where Durkin, uh, even though the person was moving, probably initiated the, the contact right there and even extended the elbow just a little bit. Let's see. Which, you know, and you got to call that a block, though. So Green has two. There's a takeaway by the Spartans. It's picked up by Saxton out to Green. Into the hands of Vivo. Vivo, wide open path, and she put it up and in. It almost looked like the game last night that I was at when the student section parted the red, uh, red seats. Yeah. That's exactly what that looked like. Just parted the way. That's a dozen points for Vivo. Here's Durkin, nicely done off the window. And those are the shots that you want, those easy opportunities, but you've got to be able to ratchet it up at this end to give yourself an opportunity. 15-point lead for the Boardman Spartans. It is Vivo. Vivo at the top of the key. A minute and a half into this fourth quarter. Green, another wide-open look, shot blocked by Durkin out of bounds. It'll stay right here. Good defense on the interior for South Range. The size is definitely a factor. You know, her being so tall doesn't have to jump. Gets the long arms up there. 
you know, the offensive player initiates the contact and, and she does get the block. And you can see it right here. Nice job of just uh, being under control, but still Boardman basketball. We'll take a timeout as well. 6.24 left. 15 point lead for Boardman. You're watching live coverage of the United Way Holiday Basketball Classic. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the player of the game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Life is full of emotions, so let How I Met Your Mother put a smile on your face. So I'm thinking of texting back a winky, smiley face. Get in touch with your feelings. When I get sad, I stop being sad and be awesome instead. Give me multiple high fives. Money, suits, and sex. My life rocks. Because Bonnie and the gang know how to get you in the mood. Based on her texts, she's dirty, dyslexic, and wants to 96 me. Semicolon and parentheses. On How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 5 on MyYTV. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. In the fourth quarter, Tony Matizzi, a veteran coach, has done so many great things. Of course, previously at Lowville and, and great teams there. And, now it's South Range, and his team's, boy, you can always sense them competing for district titles and those types of things. Great to talk basketball with him, and, boy, the most recent seasons at South Range have been excellent. You know, and you've got a great ba basketball atmosphere over there with Coach Matizzi and Coach Collin. And again, you have two guys that, that are, have had winning programs elsewhere and that have brought it to South Range, so get a great culture over there at South Range, and that's exactly what you need. And like you said, his girls have competed the entire game. Another update from Stanbaugh Stadium. Wofford has taken the lead once again. 23-20 over Youngstown State. Again, that one in the fourth quarter. We'll keep you posted on any developments there as the Penguins try to punch their ticket to the national semifinals of the FCS. Madison Durkin. Has that one taken free from her grasp? But it'll stay with South Range with 6.15 left in the fourth quarter. Of course, coming up after this one, South Range and Gerard will face off in boys' action. Durkin takes the feed, lobs it across the paint. Boy, I'll tell you this, Durkin is an athletic player. She does not shy away from contact. She definitely doesn't. Those are a couple hits that these girls have taken today. I know that would probably have me laid up for several weeks. And that'll be the third foul. Yep, on Durkin. No. Wide open look for South Range. That's Maynard. She's unable to connect. And another reach in foul, two minutes into this fourth quarter. They actually probably had to call that foul on, on Green from Boardman for that for South Range to have that ball not on Durkin. 13 from Boardman. Yeah, it was a 13, just a different color yeah, jersey. Different yep. Color. But suffice to say, whichever it was, there was plenty of contact. Plenty of contact, yeah. Oof. Vivo, clean look. Off the miss. Rebound. Down to Durkin, and that's going to be number five. On Vivo, if that's the case, yep, she's done. So it will be a one and one. Free throw shooting situation, I believe. Well, I know there was contact on her shot right here, which could have been called. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out what happened next here, if we can get it. Again, there's been a lot of contact tonight, but I'm not sure she didn't get the wrong end of that one. But as it is, it'll be Durkin at the free throw line. Ready, aim, fire, good. Durkin's is, up to nine. This is up to nine. You know, she's got 14 rebounds to go along with that nine. And this is what we talked about. You get yourself a couple easy buckets, easy free throws. Stay in, in uh, 
in range here uh, where you can make a little bit of noise. But again, South Range is going to have to D it up, but also knock something down here, too. Ball knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with South Range. Thirty-nine twenty-five Boardman lead. Well, Genevieve is fouled out. Modic on the right wing triggers shot partially blocked. Looked like contact, but it's saved into Gabriel. Up ahead of the pack, this is Pavlansky, who now slows it up and will try to run some clock. Pavlansky pulls it back out front. Pavlansky is defended by Modic. She reverses her tracks. Pavlansky able to draw the foul. You know, the, the only thing as a coach that you can hope for uh, as you're coaching, you know, you don't want to get caught up in each individual call, and you've got to be able to, to move on and not dwell on things. But you, you want to see the consistency from one end to the other. You know, and, and if you can see that, you're in good shape. Uh, but as of that, you, you know, again, you can't dwell on it. You've got to move forward. As Pavlansky goes to the line, she's four for four. So, again, a great spot for her tonight. Pavlansky, solid at the stripe. Try to make it a 15-point lead, and she does, 40 to 25. Ten points for Pavlansky, ready, aim, fire, and 11. 41-25. Raiders trying to come up with a big rally here in the fourth quarter as we wrap this one up and get you set for games three and four. It'll be the South Range boys in Girard following our post-game coverage of this one, and then it'll be game four. Our grand finale, so to speak, Poland and Boardman, which should be a great one. 5-10 left. It'll be Dirk into the free throw line. Where she's 3 of 7. Again, a great place for her to be. You've got to be able to capitalize and knock them down. Off the miss. Raiders have it. It's going to be a Boardman foul. I think they just got Gabriel. Yep. And on Gabriel, that'll be her third. Sending Kate Yeagley to the free throw line. Kate is the defensive powerhouse, according to the South Range folks. She hasn't been to the free throw line yet today. And she takes full advantage of her first trip. The Raiders have Kate defend the best player on the opposing team. Anytime that you can have somebody that, that loves to defend, is willing to defend, that's a great role, and, and, and a lot of people can do it, but a lot of people don't want to do it. Look at Durkin off the glass and in. Tony Battisi will call a timeout with 5.01 left. It is 41 to 28. Of course, Durkin's performance tonight, she has 11 points and 16 rebounds. In the win over United earlier in the week, she had 23 points and 17 rebounds. And Coaches love, of course, scorers, but I think they like even better players who are laying it on the line to, to crash the boards, to pick up those rebounds. You know, anytime you can count on, uh, you know, one of your starters, one of your leaders to go out there and get you that big-time double-double of 23 and 17, you know, tonight you've got 11 and 16. You know, that's an pretty impressive night, and, and she's going to need to add a few more to those totals if South Range wants to come back in this ball game. 41-28, Green looking. Ball is into Maya Stinson. Stinson, crossover, slicing through. Stinson, shot blocked. There's that defensive work by Yegley, but even better defensive work by Pavlansky with a steal. That's Pavlansky's fourth steal. Just always seems to be at the right place at the right time. And you've got to travel on Boardman prior to the foul for South Range basketball. Let's take a look. A lot of contact. You know, the problem when those situations arise, I don't think it was traveling, but it looked like traveling. Yeah. So chances are it's a travel. South range ball, there's that Boardman pressure, ball out of bounds. It'll go back to Boardman. The 
Read it inbounded and let the sub come in. Sub might have got a little late there. Coach <laughs> Hamilton doesn't want him in. Handed the ball. Take it back. We got all kind of excitement here right now. Ball is into Pavlansky. Shot blocked. That's Naples with a swat. So Green into Gabriel. Outside Pavlansky. Defended by Patron. And now Spartans are going to run some clock now, Will. Be a little bit deliberate here, and hopefully you don't turn it over. Uh, because that's what happens. You get yourself to the foul line. You're shooting two shots. Easy buckets while the clock is stopped. And that'll be on Saxton. Yep. So, uh, again, the fouls start to mount up. You start to get into, you know, some, some situations where you can get into this lead without any time running off the clock. Yeagley averaging four points through two games coming into this one. And Yeagley puts it up and in. And we haven't seen single digits in, before the uh, you know, start of the second half. So able to uh, get a couple more stops and, and crack the double-digit line here. Uh, but like we said, your Raiders have just been very tenacious and hanging around. 41-29. And we'll stay there. Off the miss, Gabriel comes down with it, and she walked with the ball. And she's claiming that she was pushed, forcing her to shuffle her feet. The officials didn't disagree. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm sure there was a little bit of, uh, of her uh, helping her towards that sideline. But again, good trap by South Range with another opportunity. Emily Cooper triggers it in. This is Durkin. Back to Cooper. She can't handle the hot potato. Saves it in. It is out of bounds. And this game has gone haywire. Update. Stambaugh Stadium, Wofford and Youngstown State tied at 23 in the fourth quarter. Pavlansky. Halfway home in the fourth quarter. Green gives it over to Gabriel. Gabriel feeding Green. Shot blocked by Durkin. Great recovery by Durkin. She races up the floor, feeds it into the far corner. Off the dribble, Patron puts it off the rim, no good. The ball is into the hands of Pavlansky for Boardman. Over to Modic. Again, time becomes the enemy right now. Boardman just has to be patient, make good decisions, don't put yourself in an awkward situation, Coach Hammer says, I agree, timeout. So three minutes and 23 seconds left to play. Here in the fourth quarter, Boardman has a 41-29 advantage over South Range. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik with you. Glad you're with us here on My White TV. It is a busy sports day. Great sports day, great atmosphere. You, know, you got YSU going, you got the boys game coming up here. South Range and Girard, Poland boys, Boardman boys, uh, United Way, great cause, great games. So as we finish this one up, you know, both teams playing hard, being aggressive, getting after it. And South Range has got to create some turnovers and create some offense here in a hurry. Today's high school basketball game is being streamed live at WKBN.com. Make sure you download the WKBN app to watch all of our games all season long. And you'll also find high school scores, stories, and plenty of video highlights and features. Make sure you download the WKBN mobile app today. There's a special section for Game of the Week, and you can see where we're heading. And best of all, it's free. It is such a research tool, and I hear so many people. I hear so many people talk about what a great resource it is. I tell you, Chad, I absolutely love it. I really do. You know, I go on that even not just for the sports stories, the news stories. It's always up to date. You know, it's it's always on point, and, and they really do. They do a fantastic job. So kudos to everyone who's on that, working on that. And I'll tell you what, 
Mother Nature is going to be doing some very dirty things over the next 48 <laughs> hours, at least what we've... And, and it's and it's the makings <laughs> of maybe some things that aren't going to be very good. And you know what, Chad, for the other profession uh, that I do as a teacher, that yellow triangle that always pops up there that says closing is always... <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Always... Uh, interests me every now and again this time of year. Well, you can check there. I'm sure that's getting lots of traffic when there's a school day. <laughs> there's a blocking foul called. I teach at Youngstown State part-time, and I don't ever see my class no. with the little yellow triangle classes canceled. No, you know, there's a lot of things for that place to be canceled. <laughs> In 10 years, I think maybe twice, yeah, if that. Well, there might have to be four feet of snow. But be that as it may, WKBN.com and the mobile app as well. All the closings there. Absolutely. And the weather forecast to see what it's going to be like. And Paul Wetzel and the weather guys. Fantastic job. Yeah, an outstanding job. In the meantime, we digress. 41-29. South Range trying to rally back. Here's Durkin. Baseline jumper up and no good. As Maynard tried to knock it in. And again, lots of contact. And it's going to be a South Range foul on Madison Durkin. Let's see what that foul will be on her. It'll be four. So we're going to trek our way up to the other end and shoot some free throws. It'll be Kate Green to the line. She's four for four. And Green has 11 points. And she knocks it in. She's been especially effective. Has Green on the defensive side. She came in averaging four points a game. She's just a sophomore. Five steals to her name. And she misses the free throw, but Gabriel with the rebound. Over to Saxton. And now the Spartans can run some clock with a 42-29 lead. 242 and counting. Pavlansky. Back outside to Saxton. Durkin has four fouls. Saxton into the corner. Gabriel. Green dribbled it off her foot. Back to Pavlansky. Pavlansky. They'll bring it back out front. Here comes South Range to trap. Saxton skip pass Green. Bounce pass underneath. Gabriel fights it up and in. And that's exactly how you do it. Eventually South Range had to go trap. And once the trap happened, everyone knew exactly where they were supposed to be. Got to the high post area. Easy bucket. 44-29 is our score. Ball is out of bounds. But it's going to stay right here. So we're inside of two minutes left as the Spartans will send a couple of new players in off the bench. Modic feeds it over to Maynard. And Maynard shuffled the shoes out of bounds. And it'll go back to Boardman. Here comes Pavlansky again with 154 left. So Pavlansky will bring it across the time stripe. Over to Saxton. Easy to look. And she put it up and in. Just Poland finished, or excuse me, uh, Boardman finishing one off and just have really been solid the entire night. Understood what Coach Hammerton needed and the game plan getting to the four corners, you know, and just being aggressive. And, that, and that's what they've needed. South Range just haven't had enough of that tonight. Durkin drills the three to make it 46-32. Tony Batizzi takes a timeout with 1.23 left. And a big ball game, albeit in what appears to be a losing cause, but Durkin with 14 points and 16 rebounds for South Range. And a very aggressive style on the defensive side. So we're putting the finishing touches on game number two.
So 46-32 is our score, and Boardman looking to improve the 2-1 and one on the campaign. Of course, coming up after this ball game, we will visit with our player of the game and also our victorious head coach before we get you set for game number three. And with uh, Boardman, there was a lot of people we had to choose from that did a lot of things well. And uh, it was definitely a very tough choice for us today. So Green set to inbound. Now the floor comes Sexton. And traveling called. And it'll go back the other way. And that's what they want you to do, play out of control, put the ball down and dribble, and they get the turnover. So we're going to see if South Range is able to capitalize on this and, and get this uh, ever closer. So Modic trots it across the time stripe into the forecourt. They feed it into the corner. Cooper. Ball is almost stolen by Gabriel. But it's off her fingertips and out of bounds. And we'll stay with the Raiders. 1-10 left. Cooper. Into Durkin. Durkin knifing through. Arcing shot won't go. Ball knocked out of bounds. And it'll go back to Boardman with 64 seconds remaining. So Gaeta is back for South Range. Modic sits down. With Boardman with no, or, uh, South Range with no center fielder. Probably could go deep here if they wanted to, but we'll see how this plays out. Ball is into Pavlansky. Tiptoe in the near sideline. Ball is poked free by Gaeta. But it'll stay here with under a minute left. And not a good situation you want to put yourself in right over the timeline. And I want to make sure you make that decision before you cross over. Saxton. Got a wide open look a few minutes ago. There's another steal. Good defensive play by Durkin. Durkin to the line. Durkin to the lane. May have forced it, but it's a blocking foul. Called against Green. That's going to let's see, be her fourth. And Durkin will step to the line, where at the moment she has 14 points. She's three for eight from the free throw line is Durkin. Ready aim fire. That one no good. Back in for Boardman, it's Cordova. And sitting down is Alicia Saxton. Tony Matizzi. Elects to call a timeout with 48.3 seconds remaining. Spartans with a 46-32 advantage. Of course, the Raiders in danger of dropping to 1-3. And, and Boardman looking to win two of their first three ball games of the season. And it appears that Tony Matizzi is going to put some of the youngsters into the ball game. And you know what, you look at calling a timeout in that situation, what a great opportunity for the kids to get in the game, and it just shows you what type of coach he is. So 48.3 seconds left. And stick around afterwards. We will hear from that player of the game. A difficult decision for us because very balanced output for the Spartans. You know, when you look at the, the players that we believe that were in contention, you know, you've had... Uh, Vivo with 12 points, two steals, six rebounds. You know, Kate Green with 11 points, five steals, you know, two assists, five of six from the free throw line. You know, Lauren Pavlansky, 11 points, you know, four, four steals, three rebounds. You know, so you had a lot of people that contributed in a lot of different ways. And there's going to be a lot of wins between these two teams when this season is all said and done. You mentioned it earlier on, and that is settling on rotations, and as Durkin puts that one up and in, and that'll cap her ball game off. It's 46-33, 48.3 seconds left. She finishes with a double-double tonight, does Durkin. Pretty productive night for her. Gabriel takes the feed and draws the foul, and will shoot two with... 
45 seconds remaining. You know, the thing you like about that uh, with Gaskins, uh, number one, you get your name in the uh, scorebook uh, and you get the stat, but you also don't give up the easy layup. That's right. Hustling back. Name of the game. Gabriel misses the first free throw. And it'll be another free throw upcoming. Second one up, tipped around. And the rebound comes down to Boardman. It is Cordova. A tie up. And it'll go back to South Range. So some of the new folks that have checked in for the Raiders include Drew Farron. Also, Emily Irons is in. Gianna Chicky has checked in as well. Pavlansky with a takeaway, and she puts it up and in. And now, on the other side, it'll be Jeff Hammerton calling a timeout. I think he's going to put plenty of his youngsters in as well. And here they come. Again, great job of, by Coach Hammerton and, and Coach Matisse. Really is showing the sportsmanship, even though the game was extremely physical, extremely competitive. You know, even though the score, you know, might look a little bit lopsided, both teams were really fighting, scrapping, uh, and, and getting after it the entire game. So we're down to 30.3 seconds left. It'll be South Range basketball. Set to trigger it in is Chicky. Ali Irons brings it across the time stripe. 15-point Spartan lead. Bounce pass underneath, out of bounds. As Lacey Gaskins couldn't handle it. Final 20 seconds. Bringing it up the floor is Ashley Saxton. Also checking in, Jersey Gorby. Ball is knocked free. Bodies flying every which way. Final seconds will tick on down. And you can book this one to the Boardman Spartans. Final score here in this one. Boardman 48, South Range 33. And we will visit with our player of the game coming up after this. Game two in the books. Boardman a winner, 48-33. You're watching live coverage of the United Way Holiday Basketball Classic. Final college exams coming up. Get your rest. We'll show you how to cope in your dorm room. And coping with the snow, we may have a bushel full of it Monday morning. You'll want to watch Daybreak to see if your schools are opening on time. MyValleyTributes.com pays homage to loved ones that are no longer with us. Read, share, and preserve your loved one's life story. For obituaries and calling hours, go to MyValleyTributes.com. The annual Toys for Tots Marathon Drive at the Stadium Chevy Superstore, sponsored by the Chevy All-Stars, is on now through Monday, December 15th. Our goal this year is to donate 1,000 toys. If you'd like to donate, please bring in a new unwrapped toy to the Stadium Chevy Superstore in Salem. Enjoy a Valley favorite with this half-off deal from Bellaria Pizza in Cortland. Made with fresh dough, Bellaria offers a variety of delicious pizzas the whole family will love. Or try another specialty dish like a pasta dinner with homemade sauce or the juicy jumbo chicken wings. Grab this deal available now with no fees at MyValleyDeals.com. We have something for everyone. Amazing half-off deals. Sign up now for email notifications and start saving. Once upon a time, there was a married bear. A dashing man with a deep voice. Want in on this? And a fair maiden with golden hair. You tell me which dress you like best. One mark clearance. Alas, not every day it felt like love was fair. I think marriage is going to be great. Oh. Based on what? Some cocktails and a little loving. Welcome to Thunderdome. Oh. Help them not to care. Rules of Engagement. Watch it five times a week. Rules of Engagement. Weekdays at 6.30 on YYTV. Please don't make me shoot you. You could have died. I almost did. What about the manual? Screw the manual. Rookie Blue Weekends. Sunday at 10 on MyYTV. And welcome back to Poland, where we just saw game two come to a close. Boardman coming away with a 48-33 victory over the South Range Raiders.